and welcome to the Progressive Eating Network of Inspired Sciences. Let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one, the Great Belmody. Contestant number two, Chef Dickwood. And finally, contestant number three, Sweaty Make It Again. Today's challenge involves a contestant cooking a steak dinner. They must also use two out of the three sides chosen by their opponents. Matzo, tuna, and freeze by sushi, and the aim is big bat. What's your side? Oh. What the heck is that? <laughs> what is this? Literally just using tuna. He's putting it's beef so seasoning on tuna. Yes, and it's gonna make it taste 100. It's salt. It's Give that back to me. Why doesn't our chef explain to us what went on in his ensemble? Absolutely, Jamie. Thank you. It is a pleasure being here. First of all, I have a delicious, marinated, Asian-style steak using Worcestershire, soy sauce, and some seasoning salt. Then, take a trip back in time to breakfast. You have the classic scrambled eggs with an amazing amount of options for scoopers. You have Jew bread and shit seaweed. Thank you. I call it Katahashi. I'm very, very uh, excited to put out my new line of food. I started off with a nice uh, ensemble of banana and chocolate to complement how unbelievably terrible this is going to taste. I added tuna, which is uncooked, with some walnuts and mm. some dried Japanese sushi. Sounds good. And cold steak. I rushed it. I, I cooked it and it was nice and warm and I actually added a little bit of uh, soy sauce to it. Some mm -hmm. people make it like samurai, but I rushed it. And much like Nirvana's music, it's really not that good when you really take a good look at it. Alright, thank you very much, Dick Hoodie. Alright, so what we did here, we took some nice beef there and we put some beef stuff on it. I noticed here you took go. matzo bread and made a yeah. sandwich out of something. What's inside the matzo sandwich? Uh, we got some tuna with the beef stuff on it. So I'm really not I'm looking the, forward to eating that. I'm the beef, sir. Uh, you're gonna enjoy it, trust me. Is that, it'll, it'll be great. You, like, did you put beef plate. seasoning on tuna? Huh? Yeah. Yes, I did, sir. <laughs> well, again, I am this is really all, not ready this, to eat something like that. This is an all-beef diet, That's sir. We got, we, got some beef. Broth. we got this, sir. <laughs> you see, nice close-up. We got this on that. You got All right, well, let's see what we that. Thank you. Wait. Thank you, no, sir. I got some, oh, yeah, some yeah, you crushed put... red pepper and some hot sauce. All right. Well, that's going to burn. To only focus on crimes committed by whites. Boss, man. <laughs> Good? Well, I guess I made it right then. <sighs> Tastes like drinking hot sauce. <laughs> Here, your steak is actually... I mean, it's very <laughs> salty, but it's pretty good. All right. Aaron, what do you think of my cold steak? Mm, it's nice and cold. So. Aaron's steak is pretty cold too, but I mean, because all right, Peter, let's have you let's have you take a bite of that the matzo tuna sandwich. My, <laughs> here we go, Pete. Yeah, I got a good bite of that. What's that taste like? It is better than the steak. Oh, whoa! Oh, burn! The, the tuna is better than the steak. 
drunk, but Peter took a bill by... <laughs> just eat it. Just, just go, go for it. <laughs> Do it. It's not that bad. It's better than the steak, isn't it? All right, Aaron, I'll try some of your hot sauce. Thingy, okay. steak. Okay, there it is. Aaron, that's so bitter. <laughs> like my steak. Oh, good. Let's just shove a little tuna in there. Why not? You didn't even get any tuna, man. I need to So we've got dried, freeze-dried sushi with wet, uncooked uh, tuna on it. Let's see what Peter thinks of it. And he's got the seaweed wrap one, too. Enjoy. Mmm. <laughs> I put a lot of love now into that one. That's what I call food. Would you like something to drink with that, Peter? All right, go then. It's definitely Asian. Meaning what? Uh, What's it taste like? It tastes like some fish. Yeah, it's very true. Yes, sir. Some kind of Asian shrimp Cheeto. I'm going balls deep. Obviously, he likes it. <laughs> it's like when you first eat it, it tastes like moldy milk. It's got this, this sweet, salty chip taste. And <laughs> after you continue to eat it, the inside tastes like puff cereal. So it's like you eat fish and puff cereal. Don't forget to chase down your crap meal with an expired Izzy. Nothing says delicious like flat, expi expired, <laughs> Yo, flat.